Okay, um, here is my EEPROM recording test 2. Um, this one's pretty good. This one's better than the blinking lights. Okay, here we go. Uh, servo, uh, I'm on my sensor. Got this pot here. So, uh, and Cape Cod beer. Ting! Okay, here we go. Okay, now. Right now, all these moves are being recorded to the EEPROM. And in theory, this pot could be attached to my elbow. And okay, now it's going to pause for three seconds and it'll play back exactly what I just did. Now I think I can put multiple chunks of data in one address on the um, EEPROM, so I should have some more recording time soon. But uh, there's, a, there's a good first test. The next thing I'm going to do, because I've got a infrared sensor up here, and I'm running an encoder shooting through these little holes here. So in theory, I think what I'm going to try to do is run the robot off of wireless remote control and have the EEPROM record how far the wheels have traveled. So in theory, I can drive it around using my remote control and basically have the EEPROM map the entire route and know exactly how far everything's gone. So that should be test three. But for now, the fact that I can uh, I can program movements to a servo and play them back is pretty darn cool. So there you go. EEPROM test two. Ting! And Cape Cod beer.